Zach, what's your New Year resolution, buddy, for 2022? <laughs> Just try to be better than a better man than I was in 2021. Right. Don't spend yeah. another year doing the same thing, Zach. Oh, no. nice, to good. See you, yeah. nice to see you brother you know I, I saw you out here man you still going through it out here in the trenches man L give us a little update with you Zach from the last video all right from the latest time that was about a year ago dude I didn't I was in the shelter I was actually doing better then than I am now man honestly because uh well I got kicked out the shelter for uh let them say it was for using the shelter really it was for I had gotten into it with somebody, boy, hit me in the head with a brick, and you mean, I ain't saying no names, but boy, hit me in the head with a brick, and uh, yeah, I got kicked out for it, so uh, that's why I'm out the shelter, and then uh, it's real hard to uh, not use drugs and things like that when you're on the streets, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Let alone when I'm in a shelter, but when you're on the streets, it's like, oh my God, it's the only comfort there is. I did my best, I got on methadone, man. I was on 150 milligrams of methadone, um, I went from that to a few days ago, I just, <laughs> I missed too many days, just like last time, too many days in a row, man. So I went from 150 milligrams of methadone to nothing, only this time I uh, was shooting dope every day with it. So now I have like a little double bubble problem here going on. Uh, dude, it's just bad, it's all bad. Uh, I don't know if people out there are aware of what community stalking is or gang stalking. You can actually Google it, man. And it's different in all different sorts of environments, but my case being a uh, drug environment in which I live, uh, how it affects me is uh, people in power, man, I don't know, they're not drug dealers, even though they may have ties with drug dealers, it's more, and it sounds crazy, man, but it's more the police, the government, they, uh, they fuck with me hardcore, man. They, uh, they will tell people specifically, do not buy nothing off him, do not sell him drugs. When you sell him drugs, make sure they are fake drugs. And for some reason, these cats listen to him, man. They'll send people at me that I think are my friends to beat the fucking brakes off of me for fake made up reasons, man. Uh, a couple times I, I thought people were gonna kill me, they were beating me so bad, you know what I mean? Uh, it's just everything's all bad, man. Don't make up crazy ass lies about you because there is nothing. Listen, my fucking, my, my, my name is good. My name is solid in every state prison and every county prison I've ever been in. Nobody can say nothing bad about me. My state number is MR7042 or GQ09742. My Philadelphia PP number is 966691. My Bucks County number is 099125. Look me up, man. All I've ever been involved in is robberies and aggravated assaults. I ain't got no creep shit. I never told on nobody, point blank. But they will lead you to believe that I have. Uh, other than that, just all bad shit, man. Uh, I had a place to stay. Rapid rehousing did give me a place to stay in. Uh, they, I must be the quickest person they ever evicted. I had it for about a day and a half. I was letting people take showers in my house. Uh, I actually lost the keys. Now, when you lose the keys to this place I was in, you couldn't really get in because the door was fucking hard to get in. The neighbors would not let me in. Somebody smashed holes in every single fucking wall there and smashed every fucking window out, dude. <laughs> I was evicted. I have nowhere to live. I'm fucking, it's terrible, man. I'm doing so bad. Uh, and I know a lot of it is of my own doing, man, but fucking... Man, it's all bad, man. It's all bad, man. I see you, man. You know, it's like every time I see you, you, you you're getting worse. Yeah, and I'm man. afraid, you know. I'm afraid. I don't want to die out here. And I think I think they're going to kill me. I think I think either the police are going to have somebody kill me. That's another thing, man. Okay, so, long story short, uh, people were pulling weapons out on me. I ran. I went up behind up on 95, okay? Now, when I'm on I-95, the cops come, 
is a Philadelphia police officer. Long story short, a Philadelphia cop, a Bristol Township cop, and two Delaware Port Authority police officers took me from I-95 in Philadelphia to the Delaware Port Authority to um, Jefferson Hospital in Camden, New Jersey. Okay, where they 302'd me. It's not a 302 though, it's something different because Camden does not have a 302. I was told later recently that I have warrants for my arrest in Camden, New Jersey, a place in which I have never been other than to be in concerts when I was a child or um, this last time when I uh, freaking, when the cops took me there. Zach. Yes, sir. What's good? You know, I, I, I'm feeling some type of way, man, because, you know, I, I see you suffering, brother. You need to get yourself I don't know what to do. I don't even know who to turn to, man. I mean, what do you mean? You, you have a listen, lot of resources I, I, out here for you, I, Zach. Listen, I went to these resources, right? Mm -hmm. Listen, and I says, <laughs> look, I looked this shit up, right? And the FBI knows about it, right? So look, I don't, I, I went to the big pig to tell him the little pig, right? I told him, I said, yo, why is your fucking police officers following me around, blah, 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 right? But see, the only thing about it was, I was never talking to the FBI. I was, they can jam it. They can have it to where, listen, they're, these people are calling, I don't know my grandparents' number. These people are calling my grandparents asking for money for me. I don't know my grandparents' phone number, you understand? I went to fucking tell the news people, I knocked on NBC's door on their little, uh, you know how they be sitting down? And I said, yo, uh, I'm fucking being harassed by the police. You know what they said to me? Oh, Zachary. I don't, whoa, where the fuck you wouldn't know my name? You understand? You understand what I'm saying? Like, there's some real, real cra crazy ass shit out here, man. Like, and it's terrifying, man. Oh, anyway, when, uh, <laughs> listen, let me finish telling you about, so, when they had me, when the Delaware, when they had me in the Delaware Port Authority, these cops were telling me that they were gonna rape my little sister. They were telling me how they were gonna kill me. Like, man, this is, and it, I know people right now are listening and saying, oh, he's a meth freak, he's a tweaker. You know what, I do do meth, man. And I wish this was me tweaking, but the thing about it is it's happening to other people. And they're all having the same, if not similar experiences. So, I don't know, man. I never liked this. Probably law enforcement. Listen, and the type of people that are gang stalked, I read, or like uh, people that have issues, political issues. Uh, it's all different. You know, it's all different types of people that are gang stalked, and they have. I I would have thought I was really super super crazy had I not read this and had I not uh, and I read it and seen. They're, they're, um, I seen they're, the shit that's happening to me yeah. is happening to these people also, whether they be drug addicts or not, because these are just some regular people too that it also happens to. I mean, what's regular? I don't know, no, you know, everybody has their own shit, but people that are not drug addicts, people that are not criminals, things, these things are happening to just in different circumstances and different ways, you understand what I'm saying? So it's not... It's not, I'm nothing special, it's not, but there is some, and it has to do with, man, it's more than that. It's, it's also a spiritual thing and shit like that. If they know shit that bothers you, they will fucking figure it out, dude. And what makes me so special, I'm not special. I don't know what it is, man, I don't know. They want you to, that's another thing, like, they want you to kill yourself. Like, I don't know if I ever showed you guys this. Since the last time, she, I tried to off myself, man. Like legit, tried to. So off you, myself. it looked that? like you was in the hospital you recently. You Damn, what happened over I there, brother? I my wrist. Dude, I fucking went from where? Wow. From trying to open myself up. That wasn't no call for help. When that happened? About three months ago, I did that. Wow, Zach. Yeah, I'm still a follower of Christ, man. Don't, man, don't get me brother, wrong. Don't I give just, up. I just. Don't let the devil keep taking And that's you what down, it is, brother. man. That's the devil, man. Of and course. These, these, these things are of the devil. Don't, don't get them messed up, guys. AML family, pray for Zach, guys. He's one of our Christian brother that's battling, you know, the worst fight ever, the devil. The devil got and he, control he of He wants family. us all. He wants the devil wants us all. And yeah. he's butthurt because he knows he can't win. Christ already won. We already know the outcome. And drugs is the easiest way for him to kill God's it children. Is, so, you know, I pray, brother, you find the scrim. Zach, what 
What do you need, Zach, to get you clean? What do Zach need? I need, dude, I need, a, I need to get back on methadone, and I need a place to go. I okay. need someone, I need to be rescued, literally, man. I want to get right? back on methadone, and I want to have a place to live. And I just want to go up. Anybody out there can help Brother Zach, yeah, please reach out. Please, you know, I can't man. do it myself. I do no, these I videos no, to no. put it out there so we as a community can come together no, and please, help. Yo, real shit, yo, if anybody can help me, man, please get me the fuck out of here. Help me get back on Methanon. I want to get the fuck out of Kensington. Mm -hmm. I don't want to live like this no more. Please, somebody fucking help. And that's real tears. That's real cry from a brother that's, that's being... You know, taken over by the dark side, and he's got one hand out, ass begging for help. So let's help him. Cause what's gonna happen is this: either I'm gonna wind up. I think these people are gonna try to frame me. They're gonna kill me, or I'm gonna wind up doing a fucking dumbass robbery, and the person is gonna kill me, or I'm gonna kill somebody, and I don't want none of that. Mm mm. God forbid. Yeah. Zach, I'll reach out to Mary Kay. If Mary Kay, you know, accept you and. And they willing to take you to get you a, a you know, into rehab? Or you I was just go? at Ethan Gerard, man, and going to clinic there, and uh, I missed too many days, man. And now, so now I'm not on the clinic, but I want to go back to detox there. I want to fucking, I, that 150 was not holding me. Like, I need to be on a higher dose. I need mm. to. Please help. Please help everybody. Please help our brothers and sisters. I'm just uh, glad I, I ran into you. Yeah, just brother. Cause, yeah, without that, dude, I... We're going to put this, this this video out, you know, to yeah, for help. That's... You don't stay where you at right now, brother. Oh. You know, get back up. Right, Zach? Yes, sir. So, hey, man, you know... really good talking to you. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, brother. AML family for all you can do. Amen. Amen. You hear that, AML family? Our, our other family members is stuck, man. He need all our prayer, all our blessings, some clothes and everything for him. Yeah. You see how he is right now, man. You know, it's, it's rough. So, guys, you know, let's pray for him. All your prayer warriors, yeah, send all your prayers yeah. to my brother, yeah, all right? Yeah, yes. Okay, guys. So, Zach, any last message you want to send to the family before we close? No, just God bless you all. God, I want to thank my baby sister for letting me, uh, for helping me have a good Christmas, though she did. And I uh, mm -hmm. also want to say sorry to this one girl that I burned her. I did burn her. I didn't mean to, but it's only 20 hours, but it's, I really, really am sorry that I did that. And there's two other girls, my friend L, I love you, L, and Ash, I hope you are right. I love you too. That's what's up. So, right. guys, you hear it. AML Films, Zach, and we out there. Yeah. Peace out.